Clapper um, shouldn't have thrown the dome because he throws the dome and then he's just going to go down, like, especially with a Laz. Um, that's just something that uh, you have, kind of have to get used to. Um, usually yeah. if you have a Laz on the team, I really strongly recommend people to throw the dome only when your armor is starting to go low because there's no sense in having it if you're just going to be able to hit the trapper and run away. Um, but no, you did, exactly. you did pretty good. Um, I feel like that you're a little uh, a little shaky during combat. Um, there was one point where you were shooting a lightning at the medic and then you swapped to somebody else. Um, I feel like that that was a mistake. I think you could have downed Laz right then and there. Um, in the end, it, it didn't matter too much because you ended up kind of whomping them pretty well. Um, but you did a good yeah. job overall. The killing the bodies, I uh, I got a little mixed up on who I downed and who I didn't. So yeah. I thought there was a, uh, I thought the support was cloaking and picking up the medic. So I wanted to go there and quickly eat the, uh, kill the bodies, get a uh, one eat off on them so they couldn't get revived in case the medic, but then the medic popped up as dead right as I was doing it. So I was like, oh, dang it. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um, if you want, um, I'm going to go ahead and talk to the hunters real quick, um, if that's okay. And then I'll be right back. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, Mad cow in. Um, so, uh, uh, so, uh, feedback time. Um, so I felt like that there was a little bit of a group up on that, 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 um, tunnel. Like that was a really strong engage for him. Um, I, also something that I would do, especially if you have Laz on your team is I would never throw a dome. Um, especially if you're at half health. Um, but I would never throw a dome unless the monster is starting to run away. Um, or put the, or their armor is like about a quarter or less. Um, because otherwise they'll just kill your trapper and then run off if he needs to. Um, and then you don't have a dome in case he messes up somewhere else. Um, what were your splits by the way? There were, no medic, well, there were no, none. Oh, you just kind of, all four of you just kind of went in different directions? We were trying to do uh, support trapper, assault medic. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's hard to do uh, a flush with Laz, just because he plays very differently. I think that in that case, I think a 3-1 split's really good, because Laz can take care of himself, and he's the one who doesn't really want to be in the fight, and if the dome goes up and he's not in it, it's not missing out on anything. In fact, it's actually kind of a decent strategy. Um, so I, I might try a 3-1 split next time. Okay. Cool. Gonna hop back down. Nope. User left your channel. Stand, you picked your perk, right? Channel Welcome switched. back. Nope. No more problem. Okay. Uh, ready for another one? Okay. Uh, did you yep. did you pick feeding again? I didn't see. Yeah. Same. Same. Okay. Uh, same exact build. Sweet. No. No adjustments. Uh, no, I do not have a face. Uh, no, oh, that's not me. Sorry, no, no, no. I'm I'm hosting somebody named Six Gear. Um, he's in my uh, my my community, The Art of Warfare. Um, so no, I'm not actually playing. I'm just critiquing somebody. He wants me to do a little bit of critiquing for his monster play. Um, and so this is not me actually playing. This is me just watching somebody else who is playing. Sorry if there was confusion. <laughs> I like, I really like that he's going a different route. Um, as strong as that other way was, I really like monsters that shake things up. Because if you become predictable, um, bad things can happen. And I like it because you keep them on your toes. And the, the worst thing about, like, this game is very psychological. Um, there's a very primal thing about uncertainty. And when you don't know what your opponent's going to do, psychologically, you're not playing at your best. Because you don't know what to expect. So there's always this um, apprehensive uh, uh, feel that you have. Um, so I really like this. He's using the, the river to go in... Uh, to go up and then just killing mammoth birds. Um, this usually almost always gives you carrion birds, but you can usually get your evolve meter up pretty quick, uh, which is really nice. I'm not sure why he didn't eat that. Maybe he just couldn't and decided to move on. Or maybe he did eat it and I just... Oh, that was weird because he has seven bars of armor, so maybe he did. Okay, so two more two more food should be enough. Oh no. Okay, so he didn't eat the spotter. Okay. So I hear I hear the hunters are coming up from the right side. Oh, I think that was them in front. Yep. Yeah, I saw that cloak too. This is a really nice hiding spot. I like it. Let's see what happens. Very nice, very nice sneaky. Now, if I were him, I'd go backwards, but not until they're committed to going in a different direction. Very good pull, that was a very good pull. Now the nice thing is, is that the sloth is going to be able to protect him a little bit. He'll take a little bit of damage, but that's totally fine. So now they're gonna hear the sloth getting all angry, so the sloth might actually have given away his position, especially now that it's chasing. Gave me away. Yeah, I think he realized it as well. 
I wish I, I would like to see him hide back, especially in this this area is really hard to catch a monster because of all the foliage. I wish that he would have looked behind um, because then he could have made a little bit better of a decision. Yeah, so if they, have, if they don't know where he is now, that, that should definitely have given him away. Uh, well, first of all, carrion birds, but also that spotter called him out. Um, now, there's a nice little spawn area back here. Ooh, I don't like climbing up in the middle of on tall things. Makes it easy to see. So now he's going to head over to this cave, I would assume, and evolve. He might actually evolve under this. Nope, not under that archway. Looks like he's going for the more secure one over in the cave. Get some more meats for when he wakes up. And he doesn't have to worry about Cabot, so uh, if he looks up, there's actually an opening here. He can get orbitaled slightly at this spot. Not many people know that, but some of those caves have like a little hole up front. Um, and this one, yeah, so if you look straight up, right where that rock is in the middle of the room, um, that can actually be orbitaled and dusted. And again, psychologically, I'm sure he didn't do this on purpose, but if he did get domed there, the hunters suffered a very bad defeat, so they're going to be very hesitant to go there. Um, but that's like really, really high-level meta shiz, and I don't expect most people to even realize that subconsciously or not. Um, but that is a good area to fight. <clears throat> Ooh. I was surprised. Wow, that assault took like the brunt of that damage. Very, very nice cloak for Laz. Now if I was Laz, I'd get out. So now, now I would throw in the dome. Yes. Per great shield. Great shield. Oh, crap. Bad. Oh, that's terrible. Laz was just out of place barely. Wow. Nice. Wow. Fast, fast res. The medic should go down here. Wow, very clutch heart, pink. Dome, I want to see a dome. I want to see a dome right now. I know that Laz is going to go down, but I want to see a dome. I think it would be a, a really good dome. Yeah, so the monster's going to retreat. So, one and a half bars of health for one... Uh... Oh, there goes the dome. Did he get it? No, it looks like he missed. Rough. That was, that was a pretty good engagement for the Hunters, though. They did about a bar and a half of health, and uh, Lazo has one strike. I think that if they got Laz up and they were able to get a dome, the Kraken would be in a rough spot, because then you have to deal with killing that guy without the element of surprise. So, he's getting shot right now. I don't agree with eating right here. I see a lot of monsters eat on the run, and not necessarily in a good way. That's why a lot of them take the feeding perk, because they're not very good at estimating where... Um, the hunters are in relation, so they're just like, oh, I'll just eat, and if I eat, I eat, and if not, I don't. Um, and I feel like you can usually avoid that if you're a little bit smarter. See, I mean, they're, like, they've just been really good. I like that he went behind the cover. That's good. Okay, two more bars, and he's at stage three. It's pretty good. So there's the trapper. Good job. I, I like that he doesn't throw out. Okay, he sees Laz, so now he's going after Laz. Um, I also don't like him throwing out all three Banshee Mines at once. Um, it doesn't really do too much. Um, so that Orbital Barrage, I would have liked to have seen it in front of the Kraken. Um, because what that would have done is that would have pushed the, the Trapper towards the team instead of away. And it would have damaged the Kraken. So now he's going to try and commit. Yeah, he sees, he sees Laz. Laz is going to cloak. Um, when you have a Laz on the team, I would probably use your shield as soon as you get to 75%, even if you have a Hank on your team, just in case. Oh, good. Use toxic grenades. I like to see that. See, now, the thing is, is, like, he lost track of where the dead body was. He should be sniffing a bit more. Yeah, he got the guy up. Oh, he didn't. Good Hank. Hank doing a pretty good job with his shield. Oof. Rough. So the hunters only did another half a bar of health, and the monster's going to evolve. So that, that was that was pretty bad for the hunters. 
Again, like, if you're going to evolve, just go ahead and go to evolve. I wouldn't pick up armor on the way. The slight chip damage you get isn't really worth it. My shoulders be getting some tense right there. Um, I feel like to feed speed is like all the quote unquote rage against a lot of, uh, of people. Um, it's mostly because a couple of people that are prominent streamers use it. Um, the only reason why I would take it is if you do a lot of eating inside a I dome, like which most people out don't. Fight before I engage again. <clears throat> um, Eight minutes. So, so he's not evolving, so that's an interesting choice. He knows that Laz is up. Ooh, big surprise attack. Yep, and that's gonna be Laz's death. I would have waited 10 seconds so that Laz wasn't on the ship. There was no reason to really put him there. Um, like, yeah, he'll probably get some free strikes on these guys, but yeah, I guess, yeah, I guess if you take out the support for the next battle, that's good. Um, I don't, I don't like the, the whole shooting of the three Banshee Mines at once. Really nice evade for Hank. So there's an Armadon now, so if he pounces, the Armadon might knock him off. I really like that the support's using that water as much as possible. To hide its footprints. Holy shit, where'd the last come from? Yeah. I felt like that that dropship, dropship was a, a mistake. Like, if you waited 10 seconds more. Ooh. This is going to be an interesting dome. Oh, Laz, don't die. See, he's camping the body. He shouldn't be camping the body. This is why people take feed speed, is because it allows you to do stuff like that. But a lot of people don't really take advantage of it. Um, I also feel like it's kind of a crutch for people that don't know how to eat on the run very well. So I think Laz is still alive somewhere. I think Laz is going to be... Oh. God dang it! <laughs> yeah, I feel like I feel like that his in combat he panics a little bit. Um, like he does decent with targeting, but I I think he loses track of who's up and who's not. Um, and so that he 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 makes miscalculations at times. Really good harpoon though. Really good harpooning. And this is probably gonna be game. I had my heart pumping a bit. Good game. Okay, so let me go ahead and mute his stream then. That lads. <laughs> yeah. I didn't really, I didn't see him spawn back in. <laughs> yeah, you actually killed Laz 10 seconds right before the dropship uh, ended. I was like, no, don't kill him. Wait 10 seconds, and then he can't do anything. Um, oh, I so, didn't even notice. <laughs> yeah. Um, I feel like that um, while you do pretty decent when you start focusing people in combat, um, I feel like that you, you could use a little bit more experience with just remembering who's down and who's not. Um, I feel like yeah. a lot I, I could see a lot of your decisions were based because of that uncertainty. Um, like at one point you were camping the body, and I'm like, well, there's no Laz right now. Um, and so I, I, it, it kind of makes a difference here and there. Um, but you, you do pretty good when you start focusing. Um, out of curiosity, why the 2-2 build? Just, not that I'm saying it's right or wrong. I just like, want to know your thoughts. I don't know, it just feels balanced. Um, to me, I like having a, a strong Banshee mine, but I don't feel like sacrificing a Vortex or a, uh, a Lightning for it. Okay. I, I still, Vortex is something I've put a lot into. Um, like at the end of the post screen stats, you see I get like 10,000, 12,000 damage with it. Yeah. I don't know, it just feels more balanced. Like I have more maneuverability room in all my abilities. Hey, Wyoming. <laughs> 